your feet were getting sore, your hips were sore from walking down all the hills and up the hills. So uh, that was probably the most challenging thing, you know, getting the rash and the rain coming and all that kind of stuff. So um, I guess the, the, long, the long trip really got me. It's from five o'clock in the morning to, you know, some nights it was 10 o'clock at night sort of thing where you're just walking up and down. There's nothing but trees around you and the occasional snake. Um, yeah. So just, just, you know, you're staring at the ground and just walking with a heavy pack in some uh, steering heat. The main thing was everyone was being vocal and that's so you, sort of everyone was working together so you didn't have to like try to drag anyone up to, you know, help carry the log because everyone was pushing each other along and that's that's something made us really close together. I guess that group of guys that went, we're real close together now and a close bunch and we always sit back and talk about it. So it's, yeah, it's brought us a lot closer together. You know, physically we needed each other to, you know, bind together and, and get the log up the mountain, for example, but also, you know, mentally had, had to have a couple of jokes and whatnot to make the day seem a bit shorter. We weren't dodging bullets, um, we weren't starved, we weren't, um, we weren't sick. You know, for me it was the hardest thing I've ever done, but you know, it's a completely new level what they did. Thinking they were there for, you know, for a long time, we are only there for a week. So they didn't know when they were going home, so that was another thing that would have been tough for them, just knowing they got all their family waiting for them to come home. Yeah, it's definitely made us a lot mentally stronger, and now we've got the ability to take it into games.